Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how you can configure um, Cloud Identity Engine as a mapping source on uh, Palo Alto Firewall. Uh, there's another option, of course, you can uh, map your users uh, if you use internal gateway for Global Protect. But basically, you have this is the two options that you have. Today, I'll, I'll show you how to do with uh, Cloud Identity Engine and then I'll do another video how you can how we can map your users using uh, internal gateway. Uh, for the specific video today, uh, I just have one firewall and uh, I'm going to use one Windows uh, computer for the, you know, to show you the demonstrate after our configuration. We have a Windows PC here, uh, which we can see now if I try to open up, let's say BBC, you know, it goes straight away uh, to the website. And if we go and have a look at the monitor, we can check that there's no, there's no user at all. So that's the IP of that PC and doesn't show you any uh, users. So for that to go further, uh, I have uh, written the, the steps that we need to do you know, and uh, configure this. So let's get started. Uh, but before before we do, uh, I already have configured um, Cloud Identity Agent and it's connected to this firewall. If you'd like to know how to configure Cloud Identity Engine, uh, you can visit uh, one of my previous video where I show how to configure this. Uh, I'll put the description in the, uh, the link in the description below. So you can you can watch the first video if you if you need to know how to configure it and then you can come back to this one to do the authentication bit. So a very important thing as well is you need to have um, the device certificate to be configured as well. Okay, so so the first thing we're going to configure will be the uh, certificates. I have this one already configured, but I'll create a new one uh, just to show you. So yeah. authority and this will be forward trust certificate and uh, trusted through CA we can have one which is for untrusted I already have here so we don't need to do this let's create one for the, the other certificate, which will be for the authentication bit. Yeah, that should be enough for us to do the job. We can come here and do SSL certificate profile. Uh, let's create this one. The next thing we have to do is uh, do the authentication uh, profile. So we can come here. Uh, that's where I do have 
the profile which is already connected the CAE uh, you can watch this I show all this in my previous video so we come to user identification authentication portal and here we can choose and this is the profile which I show you here which is authentication profile one here will be my IP address on the one of the trusted interface which I have already I'll show you in a second where this one is so this is the one that I have here configured I mean you can do any basically any of the interfaces could be uh, configured for your host the only difference is you know, you're gonna have to have uh, interface management let's say we can do this for CIE example and all you need here uh, to have response page and user ID uh, definitely needed let me have pink case you need you need to have this in advance uh, the management profile should be that one there okay once you have this done you need to have the um, authentication profile done uh, let me see and authentication portal is done then you need to create a uh, few URL uh, categories so there will be one for CRE URL And you you need one for the Azure URLs as well. To get the URLs for the Azure, uh, I'll show you. I'll put the link basically in the description. But here, this is the all of this. You need to add them to. Uh, the firewall so it's not gonna work this way so I need to be done one by one then and that's very important because I was struggling to configure um, my authentication and didn't work for some reason until I found that all this needs to be done otherwise uh, it won't work to be honest I spent ages to find out but I had issue with this one Okay, once, you, once you've done this, you need to go to Object and um, Authentication Profile and create um, Authentication Enforcement, basically it's going to be CLE I don't just can call it Enforcement and here you need to choose the CLE Authentication Profile and here should be done as a web form after that you need a decryption profile which I already have here but you know you can just do your decryption profile 
as you know for your decryption policies you can use this one you can use the default one obviously in my in my scenario it's just basic i haven't done anything proper but you need to have this one as well uh the next bit you need to do your security policies so as this is a lab i just have fell out everything but definitely you need to have uh to block quick uh otherwise the authentication policy it might not be triggered as many times quick will be hit in your uh policy and if it's not blocked it's not going to use http https which is needed uh for this task uh and anyways for best practice block should be the uh, quick should be blocked anyway so just create a policy to block uh quick application and then you need to create decryption policy so we can see decrypted source i'm going to do let's say in my way i could i could do all of them but with my test i only need the test zone the one i'm using at the moment destination is on trust service http https and you need SSL forward proxy to be decrypted and the decryption profile and then the final one we need to do at the authentication policy so first one we need to do root I can do source any any yes url categories we need to choose the azure urls and the c url that's the c enforcement the one we just created earlier you can here you can say how how long you want uh, how often to be triggered you know uh, your users to be asked to authenticate uh, obviously you might do it like uh, eight hours or something once a day uh, when they start uh, I can just put here one minute for the for the our testing after that we need to create um, another policy the one that what we want which users we want to be authenticated so we have users for example there's When they go to untrust HTTPS and but I made mistake of course in exclude this shouldn't be C enforcement should be a default no captive portal and we should have C enforcement on this one. Okay, so let, let's commit now and uh, do a test. Close this one, and open it again, to see if this is gonna be triggered now. Okay, so your connection is not private. Okay, ah, okay. So that good is happened now so the reason for for this is because uh the certificate uh when you have decryption should be installed in the pc otherwise uh you know you're gonna get this error
should be you know in your uh, root certificate folder so if you say yes and now uh, it should work okay still doesn't work you see it okay now it's working so we will re redirect us to um, this page Usually you wouldn't have the message, you know, once you install it, uh, same as me, uh, to proceed because it should not, it should ignore the certificate which is there. Uh, and now if I put my password, authenticate. Now I can uh, obviously, you know, go to YouTube and uh, any other shouldn't ask me to. Okay, so if we go back to the firewall and we can check now, you can see now it's uh, my user. It shows here everything. So this way you can, uh, you know, map your users. Even though if you come here, oh you can see as well my user has been you know mapped and learned So <clears throat> I hope this will help you guys. If you have any question and you have some trouble, you know, uh, just put a comment below. I'll help you out if I can. Also, if you need another any other video that you want me to do for you, uh, just, you know, just comment and please subscribe and like it. Thank you very much. See you later.